All right, thank you for getting us over that 1200, man. Thank you for the fucking love tonight. I appreciate it. Love you all, best community out there. Hell yeah, D-Man. You know what it is. You know how we do. Gonna get wolves tatted on my ass. Okay, dude. All right, bro. Um, Listen, let's do it. All right, let's jump into this video. I'm very, very excited for it. Seven craziest moments caught on dash cam. Are we ready? I need everybody typing ready in the chat just to make sure we're all on the same wavelength. Seven craziest moments. If these aren't crazy, I got clickbaited and I'm going to be very angry. I might be one monitor less after this. Let's go. Oh, what a beautiful intro. This reminds me of some like iMovie bullshit. You know what I mean? 2010. Ooh, I like the music. Here we go. Dash cams are increasingly popular as drivers use them for a host of practical reasons to protect themselves from theft, report bad drivers, and is evident. All right, dude, honestly, watching all these videos makes me realize I probably need a dash cam, dude. Like, now that I really think about it, I think I have to get one. I just, I don't know, like, am I really going to drive with, like, something like this on my fucking window, though? Uh, does anybody in the chat have a, a dash cam? Let me know in the comments, too. And is evidence in an accident. But sometimes these cameras capture events so sudden and unexpected. Amari, thank you for the gift, baby. Have time to reach for a Love smartphone you. or camera. Today, we'll be looking at some of the craziest moments ever caught on Yo, dash yo, is that cop texting and driving? Motherfucker's got his phone out. We'll be looking at some of the craziest moments ever caught on dash cams. Let's go. An unexplained flash. The truth is out there, and out there may actually be Russia. On November 14th, 2014, a driver in the rural town of Rez, Russia, captured a truly bizarre phenomenon. Dude, you know what's crazy is this is exactly how I envision Russia being. <laughs> this is exactly what I expected it to fucking look like, okay? This looks like the Verdansk Dam, first of all. And it's just like, bro... Just like snowy, like no color, you know, literally looks like probably, yeah, a fucking Call of Duty campaign, something. Phenomenon on his dash cam. Just after 6.30 p.m., the car travels along a dark, nearly deserted... Oh, the source is Vyacheslav Bulatov, the Silberian Times. ...road in the Russian Urals. It's dash cam filming the tree and snow-lined lane ahead. Okay. No one on that quiet roadway is prepared for what's about to happen above them. Wait, what? What the fuck? An enormous bright flash suddenly lights up the entire night sky. Beginning as a faint orange glow. Dude, it almost looks like daytime. Glowing yellow Wait, what happened? Fading away. Locals in the area were stunned after witnessing the sky ablaze. Vodka. The flash only lasted about 10 seconds, but it was captured on several cameras, including widely circulated cell phone footage. Wait, what? Oh, they got the potato cam. Oh! Wait, what the? Oh my God, flashbang. <laughs> Wait, actually, what is that, guys? However, even with the video recordings to study, it seemed no one could offer a reasonable explanation for this sudden, mysterious event. One possible explanation for the flash was the Aurora Borealis, nah, bro. commonly called the Northern Lights, nah, which bro. had been visible farther south than normal in some areas of Russia over the same weekend but scientists couldn't point to that explanation with certainty. Another suggested explanation was that a meteor had caused the... See, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking like a meteor was entering the fucking Earth, uh, Earth's realm. Right? And then it does, a, it does a thing. It's a bomb? How would it be a bomb, though, in the sky? Flash. On February 15th of the previous year, the Chelyabinsk meteor had entered Yo! the Earth's atmosphere over Russia. I this remember that shit. You guys remember that shit? That's sky. insane. Although because the Chelyabinsk meteor had entered the atmosphere during daylight hours, it was... Dude, if I looked up and saw that, I would think that either Optimus Prime was coming down to fuck me in the ass, or the world was ending. Either one, 
Probably not an ideal situation, right? Easier to identify. The pattern of the flash and res was harder to explain. Internet detectives suggested a broad range of other theories, including secret military projects and extraterrestrial visitors. All could be UFO. Had a nuclear weapon test Definitely gone not. wrong? Had a UFO burned up in the Earth's atmosphere? Was this some unprecedented weather event? Despite the widespread conjecture, the Russian government has never declared an official explanation for what many call the Yekaterinburg fireball. So what really happened that night is anyone's guess. Interesting. A terrifying ride. This next driver's dash cam footage captured not just one shocking event, but two. In the summer of 2015, Typhoon Sotolor ravaged Taiwan, China, the Mariana typhoon. Islands, and Japan. Wait, what's the difference between, uh, between a typhoon and like a hurricane? Is that the same thing? Just different word? The Yuckenberg firebomb? What is that? Winds, different hemispheres. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what I was thinking, Kelly. I was seeing the hemisphere thing. Yes, same thing, just different words. Okay, so a typhoon's a tornado, hurricane. On August 9th, a man and woman in Tainan City, Taiwan, found themselves in the middle of some increasingly dangerous weather brought on by the tropical cyclone. Cyclone? Bro, pick, you know what I mean? Pick a natural disaster. It's not gonna be, f yo. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh my. Without warning. Wait, why was there a, pro wait. What do you think she's thinking right now? <laughs> Wait, bro. She flew out of what? Where did she come from? Without warning, a powerful tornado tears through the area, jerking the cars forward and throwing debris everywhere. Jerking before what? continuing its devastating path down the road. Dude, that looks insane. When the air clears, the dash cam reveals something even more incredible than the sudden cyclone. How the fuck did she... To the right of the car, a woman sits upright in the wake of the twister, having been pulled into the violent storm and deposited in the street as the tornado sped away. The driver... Oh, wait, you can see it, bro. Wait, I didn't even notice. You can see the fucking thing. Ado sped away. Oh the driver rushes to check on her. Unbelievably, the woman stays upright and responds to the driver. She is conscious and able to talk just moments after she's been in the eye of the storm. Oh my the woman god. In the video who was not named was seriously injured. Oh. The others at the scene only suffered minor injuries from this unbelievable experience. It just goes to show that at a moment's notice, mother nature can turn very nasty. That's fucking insane. That was so quick. Oh my. You guys see the trees get ripped out too? Look at the trees flying around. Don't you Holy shit. Two wrongs don't make a right. Upholding the law is an important job, but unfortunately, even police aren't immune from breaking the rules of the road. On August 15th, 2019, He's doing the thing. a police officer in Tulsa, Oklahoma, was involved in a car crash in his cruiser. Oh but my. the detail that made the story especially no, bro. was dash cam video of the accident which revealed that just before the moment of impact, the officer had been breaking a very simple Oh, rule. no. The road is not very busy as the officer cruises along, but as he drives, he is also texting, glancing away from the road and down to his phone several times. This part of the footage is shocking, but what happens next blows the texting out of the water. Wait, what? Oh my! Sing will attempt to call 911. If you wish to cancel the call, please hold the phone button. Okay. That wasn't his fault, bro. Texting or not, I think that's happening. Like, there's no avoiding that, really, I don't think. That is insane. I need to see that. Where did this come from? 
Oh my god, it's crazy. Though the officer's behavior is dangerous, the crash is the fault of the other driver in an SUV who crosses the median and suddenly slams into the cruiser. The airbag deploys as the police car spins to a stop. The officer stops for a moment <laughs> before getting out of the vehicle and calling emergency services. Is he good though? Thankfully, neither the officer nor the driver of the other car was seriously injured. W. Though the w. officer did go to the hospital to be checked out following the crash. Okay, W it probably like a little conky or something. What caused the other driver to jump the curb and slam into the cruiser? But that driver was found at fault for the wreck, even though the officer had been quite distracted himself. If he hadn't been texting, the officer may have been able to avoid the collision altogether. Uh, the texting officer maybe, was not named maybe. by the Tulsa Police Department. A review board does exist within the department to investigate officers. Yo, do you guys think he could have gotten out of that if he wasn't texting? I don't think you fully get out of that. Maybe it, like, tail whips you or some shit. I mean, regardless, don't text and drive. Like, obviously, that's obvious. There's been, like, many, many, like, horrible things that have happened from that. But... Oh, man, I don't know. Officer involved accident. In a different but the universe, such right? Investigations are kept. Maybe private. he's getting out of it. Hopefully, if the officer did keep his job, he is doing it more carefully these days. Gryffindor, thanks for the 14 months, baby. I love you. You are late to the stream. Bad. Caught in the act. Before you try breaking the law, it helps to make sure you aren't being filmed. Two men in the UK learned this lesson the hard way in July 2017. Wait, 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 was it this one? Attempt at an insurance scam. Oh my God, this is the one we saw, bro, where he jumps on the shit. <laughs> then <laughs> throws himself. How? What the hell, you idiot? <laughs> <laughs> I still can't believe that one, dude. Like, actually. I mean, did, they had to have gotten in trouble for that, right? Like, you... There's no way they just, like, got out of it. Plain crazy. Wait, what? Drivers in Clearwater, Florida got quite a shock on November 19th, 2017. Just after 10 in the morning, two police dash cams captured the moment a single engine Yo. plane made an emergency landing on the highway. Oh my god. Oh, there's a cop right there. The, the cops were like, what the, the fuck? Area on an unrelated call <laughs> were able to respond within seconds as the plane crept lower and lower toward the road. Oh, that's ultimately huge. Clipping the top of a small tree and coming to a shaky stop at the edge of the highway. Oh my Pilot God. Mark Allen Benedict and his passenger Gregory Genny walked away from the sudden crash landing with no injuries. Huge. Amazingly, no one on the ground was hurt either. W, dude. Said that shortly after takeoff, engine trouble had caused him to make the emergency landing on fuck the roadway. planes, bro. With no injuries or major... And fuck these little mini-ass planes. For real. Like... It would take some hard convincing, dude, to get me on, like, one of those little mini planes. Property damage to report. This was definitely a best-case scenario for a plane crash. Carter-sized plane. All right. With a bag. Most people believe they are safe in their own homes, but this next video shows how a freak accident can quickly turn into a disaster. On April 7, 2018, police were called to a residential area in Hearst, Texas, after a vehicle crashed into a home and hit a gas line. In a situation which at first seemed oh, unfortunate but routine, officers arrived at the scene, not expecting what was to come. There were three people inside the house at the time of the crash, Dixie Bridges, her husband Charles, and their adult son. The footage shows the moment officer Travis Heiser pulls up outside the home and exits his vehicle. So far, everything seems normal, oh, gonna... but as the officer approaches the front yard, without warning, the house suddenly explodes. Oh! The violent explosion was also captured on two other officers' body cams. Oh my god. Body cam. Yo! That's insane. Oh my god. 
kind of hurts. The house just exploded. Oh, shit. Though the officers were shell-shocked, they immediately entered the residence and were able to rescue all three of the victims. No way! 61-year-old Dixie Bridges had been injured by the crash itself and was reportedly burned on over half her body from the explosion. Damn. Her husband Charles was also burned as he tried to help her get out of the house. And their adult son, who was in the back of the home at the time of the crash, was mildly injured trying to help get his parents out safely. Two of the responding officers also suffered minor injuries, while the driver of the SUV, Arnulfo Castro, walked away unscathed. Castro was arrested for driving without a license, but he, like the others, was lucky to walk away from the explosion with his life. Dude, how? How the fuck did they live, bro? Honestly, W, that's crazy. I didn't expect that. I, I was expecting a sad ending there. I, I'm going to keep it a buck. Tommy, thanks for the 44 months sub, baby. Thank you for the 44 months. Holy shit. Daylene, thank you for the 100 bits. Saying hi, YouTube. <laughs> Over the Hedge? I love this movie. When things go wrong on the road, they go wrong fast. Auto enthusiast James Shaw Jr. shared terrifying dash cam footage from a ride he took along the Angeles Crest Highway on January 4th, 2015. Behind the wheel of a 2004 Subaru Forester XT, Shaw winds around the snowy mountainside, then approaches a tunnel. As he exits one tunnel and enters another, he increases his speed, but soon after loses control of the vehicle. Dude, why would you do this on a fucking mountain? Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. With the car out of control, Shaw hits the brakes hard, but it was too late. He speeds over the cliff edge, crying out oh no. as he tumbled down the side of the mountain. It looked like a death sentence, but in a stroke of unbelievable luck, Shaw's car did not fall all the way down the side. It came to rest on a drainage pipe jutting out from the side of the cliff. Look at how far down that is, bro. Yo, he, you guys realize his O nose was him realizing that he's probably fucking dead? Like, that's so scary to think about. Rescue crews arrived quickly, and Shaw was pulled from the car, not seriously injured. Huge. One Love of the you. rescuers was actor Lou Ferrigno, famous for portraying the Incredible Hulk in the 1977 TV series. Wait, what? Celebrity sightings really do happen everywhere in Los Angeles. What? Shaw shared the video on his social That's media so channels, random. hoping to inspire others to practice safe driving. He certainly won't need a reminder himself anytime. Okay, this was such a dumb idea. Why would you ever go fast like that on the side of a mountain, dude? Why would you drive Ugh. soon? Unsafe. It's fun. Okay. Oh, no. That doesn't look fun to me. I don't, I don't know what you guys think is fun, but that doesn't look fun to me, bro. Well, you don't understand because you're not a car guy. You know what? You have a point. I'm not a car guy, so I don't understand. Is this really fun, guys? Which one of these videos... Yo, this video is a W. I kind of like this channel. Oh, I'm subscribed to him already. All right. <laughs> I kind of like this guy. This one was good. Fact Faction. Wow. Honestly, huge dub. I like that. We'll have to watch more of it. Shout out to Fact Faction.